his holy right and righteous name because if truth be told, we are not even worthy to do that. But I praise God how one day he was born, he died for my sins, amen, but he rose again. And that's why I can give him praise, honor, and glory, amen. Even on this cold, wet, and rainy Sunday morning, hallelujah, the fire of the Holy Ghost is still burning on the inside. And I praise God for that on this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. And we praise God for those of you who are watching us, amen, through Facebook Live and through uh, YouTube. We praise God for you. We ask you for your continued prayers for us here at the Smyrna Church of Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Amen. At this time, we're going to have our scripture reading this morning. And our scripture reading will come from Psalm 116. Amen. After our scripture reading, we will have our own Elder Robertson to lead us to the throne of grace, after which our praise team will come back with one other selection. Praise the Lord. Psalm 116. I love the Lord because he hath heard my voice and my supplications, because he hath inclined his ear unto me. Therefore, will I call upon him as long as I live. The sorrows of death come past me, and the pains of hell got hold of me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then called I upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord, and righteous, yea, our God is merciful. The Lord preserveth the simple. I was brought low, and he helped me. Return unto thy rest, O my soul, for the Lord hath dealt bountifully with me, with thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from hell, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believe, therefore have I spoken. I was greatly afflicted. I said in my haste, all men are liars. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death, is the death of his saints. O Lord, truly I am thy servant, I am thy servant, and the son of thine handmaiden, thou hast loosed my bonds. I will offer to thee the sacrifices of thanksgiving, and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of thee, O Jerusalem, praise ye the Lord. Amen. Do I have anybody under the sound of my voice who just loves to praise the Lord? You just love to praise the Lord. Amen. It does not matter what we're dealing with. Praise God. We know that even in the midst of adversity, that our God that we serve is still a good God. Can you say amen or bump your horn? Hallelujah. He is still a good God. Amen. So we thank God for scripture reading this morning. At this time, we're going to have Ella Robertson to come to lead us to the throne of grace. I will put trust in the Lord.
Father, we come before you at this time in the name of Jesus. Once again, Lord, thanking you for all of your many wonderful blessings. We thank you, Father, for rising us up this morning. Go ahead and, Father, thank you for watching us going tonight. We thank you, Father, for a mind yet to come out to the house of the Lord one more time. Thank you, Father, for the food we were able to eat. We were able to put clothes on ourselves and we were able to do this of our own free will because you have given us, Lord God, health and strength. We recognize that and we give you praise. We take nothing lightly. We realize that we are blessed because of you. We come before you, Lord, at this time. We realize, Lord God, that's always a need. Don't want to sound selfish. That's why we start off by saying thank you. But even though there's a need, Lord God, there are still those, Lord God, that may be going through. This has truly been a trying year. Because of the corona and many things that have taken place, Heavenly Father, many, Lord God, may be hurting or going through. Two incomes have become one. And in some cases, it seems like there is no income. Somebody, Lord, may have lost their job. May have been set back. It seems like the funds is not there. Some, Lord God, have been sick in body, going through something, Lord. Had a father, maybe even family members, Lord God, not staying together. The devil realized that his time is short. And so he's doing all he can to destroy as many lives as possible. We pray, Lord God, that your people, Lord God, continue to let their light so shine so that those that don't know you, Lord God, will wise up and realize that time is winding up. We pray, Lord God, those that don't know you in the free part of their sins that somehow or another before it's everlasting too late, they would acknowledge you, Lord God, through the preaching of the word, oh, heaven, Father, through the testimony of the saints, through the lives, Lord God, of those that's trying to live right. And they would see something, Lord God, that would make them, Lord God, want to change. We pray that you would bless this church as a whole, starting with our angel, the pastor of the church. Go ahead and Father, give him strength and preach for power and demonstration. Go ahead and Father, let him lead your flock, Lord God. Let him, Lord God, preach, Lord God, in a way that those will fully understand, Lord God, and accept your ways. We pray you will bless, Lord God, his family. Bless him on our church as a whole. Help us to be on one accord, to love one another, respect one another, so that those in the community will see you and us and glorify our holy name. We ask you, Lord God, to bless us to be on one accord, to go forward in your name. And heaven, Father, we realize that this is another year, Lord God, where we are celebrating the birth when you brought your son into the world. We realize, Lord God, that you've already always have existed. But Lord God, when you came in the flesh, Lord God, there is a beginning as far as being a man. And we recognize, Lord God, had you not came, we would still be lost in our sins. So we thank you, Lord God, for sending your only son. We thank you, Father, for his obedience, Lord God, for living a sinless life, for laying his life down on that cross. Oh, heaven, Father, and heaven, Father, being the redemption, Lord God, to save our souls. We thank you for what he's done. And we pray, Lord God, that we don't take it lightly, Lord God. We don't, Lord God, look forward like it's nothing. Help us, Lord God, to accept what you've done and those that have it, that they will as well. Now bless us, Lord God, to celebrate and not forget what this season is really all about. Let us not get caught up, Lord God, and get confused for what Christmas is all about you. Now bless us, Lord God, on this day, and we shall be blessed. Keep us in your care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Also at this time, those of you that don't have an envelope, we're going to try to get them around to you. So we're going to bring some envelopes around for those that don't have it for the offering at this time in Jesus' name.
and reminding us that we are going up a yonder to be with our Lord. Now, there are some criteria that have to be met in order for you to do that. Amen. Amen. And we thank God for a man of God who is going to bring us the word today. Praise the Lord. None other than our pastor, Bishop Fowler. Amen. Who is going to help us understand how it is we can go up a yonder. Amen. And this time we're going to prepare to honor the Lord and praise him through our giving. Amen. So at this time, 